Hey everyone, welcome back to the Crypto ZX channel. If you're new, please consider subscribing. But now let's take a look at Solana. We know Solana has had a great two to three weeks, um, but seeing a little bit of a cool off, and I know a lot of people right now are upset, and that shocks me. You know, we're going to be talking about why exactly that shocks me. Uh, and it's honestly insane because if we're looking at it on the monthly time frame, we're seeing Solana up 65.2%, which is insane. Looking at it on the weekly time frame, it's up 5.7%. You know, what a lot of people right now are forgetting is that Solana had a head start. And there is no question about that. Go watch my old updates. Solana had a head start and now the projects that really didn't pump up while Solana was pumping are pumping now. So these are the things that we need to keep in mind. But let's talk about Solana. What are some news revolving around this? I'm going to share some uh, news with you guys. So sit back, relax and enjoy the show. If we're looking at the price of Solana right now, as of August, uh, wow, I said August, I'm not stuck in august anymore i guess <laughs> uh, but it's october uh you know if we're looking at the price of solana currently sitting at 31 dollars and 72 cents down about 0.4 percent over the past 24 hours in usd comparative we're also down one percent in bitcoin comparative solana is holding really really good right now uh surprisingly yes surprise surprise to a lot of people that have been talking negative on twitter you know um since the price has kind of consolidated um over the past two to three days at the 31 dollar to 32 dollar range you know a lot of people are saying ah oh, man this is it um this is the run you know we had it uh this is the top and that honestly shocks me because you know people still haven't learned that you know market won't pump up overnight you're not going to see solana trading at all-time highs overnight it's going to be uh you know a step-by-step -step process but if we're looking at the market cap 13.3 billion dollars with the 24-hour trading volume currently sitting at a half a billion dollars so you know we are seeing the buying pressure decreasing right now and that is no secret because of course as mentioned we are seeing side -vis momentum with solana right now but before we talk about the charts i wanted to really discuss this with you guys which is these vanek predicted a 10,600 solana price rally by 2030 so the report also um, into the potential scenario where solana becomes the first blockchain to accommodate applications with over 100 million users so you know this news has been making uh, quite a bit of headlines within the crypto space and it is of course in a report the vanek outlined diverse valuation scenarios for solana to range from um you know nine dollar 81 cents to an ambitious three thousand two hundred and eleven dollars and 28 cents which is quite funny to me by 2030 in comparisons to ethereum's target get price in uh, which is 11,800 and is this possible you know this is uh, something a lot of people are discussing right now uh, you know Solana is going to reach 3,000 is Solana not going to reach 3,000 let's discuss that um, before we get into it as always just a quick disclaimer that anything on this channel is not financial advice always do your own due diligence and research when you are investing in crypto so in order for Solana to reach $3,000 you know per coin in 2030 that's another four another six years from now on uh but we need to keep this factor in mind the circulation supply is going to change by then and we don't know what it's going to be but if we are taking today's circulation supply we're looking at above a trillion dollars in market cap of for solana so you know solana have has to become one of the top two to three um, you know projects in the next six years in order for this to even be a possibility i know some people are saying that is not possible um and again that is quite unrealistic prediction in my opinion because of such a high uh, market cap because let's face it, you know, even Bitcoin doesn't have a trillion dollar market cap. Um, but of course, you know, I understand, you know, they're projecting in 2030. And of course, if we're taking that into consideration, um, you know, it has to be top one or two. I'm sorry, not, of course, Bitcoin is not going anywhere. So what am I saying with top one? It has to be in this top two to top three zone. So it really needs to be here to compete with Ethereum at the third spot. And, um, you know, we could see this cryptocurrency space um, you know the entire market valuation into trillion so you know 
you can't really say or predict the future of course etf um you know are being approved you know bitcoin a bitcoin etf is you know around the corner the ethereum etf has been approved we're going into the masses so who knows what can happen um you know i'm not writing it off what i can definitely say is it is really really insane prediction um so you know a lot of factors go into that what we need to focus on right now is how this market cycle um you know goes and that is what's very very important you know this market cycle you know i've made my projections uh regarding uh solana i think solana is going to shock a lot of people which already is doing we're seeing institutional interest we're seeing massive whales accumulating solana solana as a project making massive stride and that's reason as to why it's really gaining a lot of traction because it's really showing that you know hey we're built to compete with ethereum and that's what we're doing and a lot of people are seeing that right now um so that is quite bullish and, and i'm thinking that you know we could this bull cycle see solana ranging uh between 800 to even a thousand dollars at the peak of the bull cycle i think those are my predictions i even went over the numbers in one of my videos you guys can go search that but you know it's going to be one step at a time process of course but if we're looking at the price right now of course i'm going to share some um uh, you know price uh you know talks with you guys you can you can see you're we're seeing a little bit of a, a retracement within the price and the previous uh yearly high which we set for ourselves back in july is playing as a level of support you can't make this up that is playing as a level of support for us right now if we're focusing on the price especially on the hourly time frame you guys will be able to understand better uh, so of course we're seeing a lot of sideways movement which is totally totally okay in my opinion because people will continuously forget the fact that you know solana is is up from the September 11th price you can see it's up 84 percent come on look let's not forget that factor um, of course Bitcoin dominance on the other hand is also picking up like never before we're seeing yearly high for Bitcoin dominance very very close and I think this can even shoot up depending on how Bitcoin reacts uh, even if Bitcoin were to go back into the 0.50 Fibonacci retracement level um, you know retest that 40k BTC you know we will see this number shoot up for Bitcoin dominance so I think altcoins as far as that explosive altcoin rally is concerned I think it's still kind of away yes we will see uh altcoins go up in usd comparative but when it comes to uh in bitcoin um you know comparative i don't think big altcoins are just yet about to start you know what i'm projecting is that bitcoin is going to have its rally you know even um you know leading up to this approval and once this approval were to come down i think that's where uh, profit taking will happen you know people will sell the news and that's when i think the dominance will start falling apart once the dominance falls that's when i'm projecting the altcoin rally to occur and also a lot of people really took that video that i made yesterday regarding the solana and bitboy connection really seriously guys come on guys i'm trolling you know uh, ben armstrong you know i'm just saying that you know usually he's been you know having a lot of bad calls you know he's a guy in the crypto space that not a lot of people take quite seriously because of a lot of allegations against him and um, you know people are just you know saying you know what i was talking about in that update was a lot of people in the crypto space are like hey you know what it's time to sell solana it's time to do this because ben armstrong has been posting it and he's all of a sudden really a big solana believer which is the reason as to why i said this no i'm not saying he is the reason why solana is not going to succeed i think solana is going to succeed he's nothing uh, that can come in the way of course he's going to hop on the uh you know train now that you know solana is being talked about you know everyone is loving solana so he's obviously going to come and join uh the ship but you guys know your boy crypto zx has been covering solana when literally no one was talking about it and i think more and more people are going to start talking about it as we do go further into this bull market but overall great to see you know things are looking quite uh great uh for the entire market as well as for solana but let me know down below what you guys think and where you could you see the price going before we close at the year of 2023 love you all see you tomorrow in crypto zx and peace out